Scott France mentions, of course, uh, one other feature of the uh, these tentacles, which are modified tube feet, like the little suckers on a sea star, at the base inside the tube foot or tentacle. It's hollow. And uh, sea cucumber? Uh, it must be. Uh, or a, uh, yeah. yeah. I think it's a snap and show. Uh, oh, Ben's go going yeah, in the back. Get somewhere much faster. Oop, and here we go. Here Lift off. Right. Or to escape some... Oop, I need to just poop. Just before he lifts it off. He's going to drop his balance. Yeah, Please exactly. Yeah, um, and that's something that these... The Ready Hall of Thrones are known to sure, do. They drop as much weight as they can just before they lift off. Um, but here you can see it's either trying to get somewhere quickly or more likely trying to evade a predator. And that's probably what it makes of D2. This bright, noisy um, thing that's sending lots of vibrations Forward. into okay. the surrounding Tilt. waters. He's still going to smell stuff. Yeah, still trying to get the last remains of his meal in. In or out. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, this is a particularly round one. And inside, you can, through its translucent body, you can just make out the gut which um, appears lighter in color 
And that's because of all the sediment that it's just been munching on. Look at the waves coming in. Oh, beautiful imagery. The whole body, like. Great shot of the gut there. That U-shaped structure. And this is a good example that life in the deep sea is slow. This is fast for this animal. Like this is warp speed for the sea cucumber, um, and yet still it's, it looks like it's been slowed down quite a couple of times. Um, the, the deep sea is cold, about two degrees Celsius, I think it's actually about four in the Gulf of Mexico. Um, it's also very dark, there's no light past about 400, degree, 400 degrees, 400 meters, um, and there is also, there's also very high pressure, so for every 10 meters that we descend, um, it will increase the pressure by one atmosphere, so equal to what we feel every day. So at this depth of about 200, uh, 2,060 meters, there are 200 times the amount of pressure we feel on a day-to-day -day basis right here, where this, which this sea cucumber is being exerted to. And of course also life on the deep sea is pretty limited by food in most places, especially animals like this deposit feeder. It relies on food which comes from the sea surface, things like zooplankton, phytoplankton, um, the shells of these animals, the poo of these animals, and occasionally larger bodied animals will die and drift down into the deep sea, the hundreds of thousands of meters where they will settle on the seafloor as phytodetritus.